I'll take this. No, no, yeah. I'm gonna need that. <laughs> what if, <laughs> my, what if we just wanted to ride my bike? That's, I didn't yeah. want to be at school with a bunch of kids drawing pictures and shit. That's like, fair. <laughs> so fair. Skateboard's my weak, Still my weak on point. <laughs> he was trying to kiss me. <laughs> oh, yeah. it does more than sleep in those vans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to hear a crazy date story? I got a crazy date story actually. Next weekend, I'm racing a Red Bull race, and I just came and rode on the roof of a pizza ranch. Like, <laughs> like I'm in the pro class. No other pro is doing that. Like they're all at the gym training right now and i'm like dude you guys are cooked that <laughs> podcast that you recorded last night there's oh. audio i looked on the board there's audio there's audio yeah it's you like you guys could be audio. working late at night but you're not you guys filmed the podcast last night no, they yeah. just i hosted recorded. One. it's audio only I hosted should we one. drop it i would love to hear what time was this of that Know, like, like 2 a.m. Yeah. 2 a.m. One, one in the morning. <laughs> yeah. You guys, you got, guys were up till we got one in the bank. We got one in the yeah, bank. Yeah, we were up till 2 a.m. You guys were working till 2 a.m. Yeah, we <laughs> uninvoluntarily worked till 2 a.m. <laughs> when Spenny's in town, dude, it's grind time. I walked in upstairs, and it was like 10:22 to be exact. Mike was sleeping on the couch in here, and then I like set a picture on him. He didn't wake up. <laughs> Everyone else was in here, like walking. They. We we're looking at him. I got a bunch of video of it. You did not wake. You didn't even flinch. We order our shirts through this company, and like they flew out to come and like see the facility because they were just like, we got it. Like these guys are ordering well, not, so many yeah. shirts. They came out to come see and meet with Justin and all this. And Justin was giving a tour, and you were just sleeping in here. They walked right in, and then you're like, oh, and like you were just like. Four guys on the couch wow. all piled up. What's, fun, what's <laughs> funny about that is Justin texted us last night and he goes, Hey, just letting you guys know, giving a tour to these uh, people from Ads Caller. Mike, please do not be sleeping on any of the couch. Had, shit. had strict That's instructions. What he said. And oh, this is, is what, what, what you said? look like. This is what you look like. <laughs> oh, Evan. <laughs> Bro. Evan, we're in a sealed room. I was sleeping like a little baby. Oh, look at you. It's hard to be mad at a face <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. <laughs> you just you do have sleeping. such a unique ability Aww. to sleep in the most uncomfortable <laughs> positions. Mike, have you been all right lately? Every time I see you and we're not doing something, you're snoozing. I love sleeping. <laughs> no, I know, but have you been getting enough Z's? Well, obviously not if you were up till 2 a.m. filming a podcast. Yeah, no, I, not last night. <laughs> this might be the portion of Mike's life where his, his sleep schedule is finally going to flip around and be normal. He's so far off, he's on. You think we're getting closer to I, that? I think we're getting closer. He's been sleeping a lot during the day, so I think we're slowly rotating back. Like, I just actually... No, I'm on a better sleep schedule than I ever have been in probably in my I life. I thought that, honestly. Yeah. Oddly, oddly enough, I got a picture of you 40 minutes ago sleeping in the, <laughs> sleeping in the spinner van. <laughs> That's because I didn't get enough sleep. I know, I know. that. I just saw this, and I went, oh... Kind of concerned about this I, I guy. Heard, uh, He's always sleeping. Somebody mentioned something about hot dogs in the Sprinter, and Mike was like, hot dogs, hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, he did wake up to that. Well, welcome on the podcast. That's a lie. The, the official podcast uh, during, you know, normal functioning hours, <laughs> Spenny. Feels good. This is my first one. Ever? No, you did one. This is my first pod. Dude. Wow. Well, Not ever, but like with oh, you guys. Oh, with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, hey, man, we're honored to have you for the first time with us. Mike, you kind of got to work from home fit right now. Sorry to go off a of spenny, but he's running camo and <laughs> I just threw the flannel on because it's cold in here. Checkers and flannel, raining yeah, and camo. So you got three different patterns. So spenny, you've been traveling all over. Yeah, traveling all over, all over. Bikes, Europe. Yeah, you've been in Europe. You drove uh, a, a camper forty <laughs> hours across Canada. <laughs> drove across a Canada. Ago. So a little background on our buddy Spenny. Spenny is the best dirt biker we know, <laughs> which I always look to Evan because I believe that you are the best of many things, people that I know. Clearing out a room. <laughs> R6ing, for sure. I believe Evan is the best fast dirt biker that I know, but Spenny's the best technical. Like, the dude on a dirt bike moving slow can go anywhere, including over an air conditioning vent. On top of them. <laughs> Spenny is the best at riding over things that should not be ridden over or jumping over things that shouldn't be jumped over. Mm -hmm. Last year when he was here, we had him drive up Mike's inflatable that he had just gotten, like hard, hard enduro over it. And then you jumped over the mini truck that we you put a ramp jumped, onto. Yeah. You jumped the mini truck while it was moving. moving. That yeah. Oh, <laughs> onto, our, onto our limo. Yeah, onto yeah. the limo. Onto the limo. And then today... We did like this trials bike thing. Uh, it would have been in last week's video. You saw it. Well, we're just fresh off of the boys riding on the roof <laughs> of Pizza Ranch. Pizza Ranch, dude. Pizza Ranch, dude. Oh, God. What, what's that even is, happening? I know. <laughs> so what happens when you hang with us. Yeah. Things get weird. 
New zone unlocked. Yeah, new zone. Actually, Pizza Ranch has some really nice features on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine people just start riding on Pizza Ranch roofs. They're like, yo, we're not the only people that have air conditioners on our roofs, guys. You can go anywhere else. No, there's a good variety of obstacles up there and good traction, too. The next series is on top of McDonald's. No, there's a big championship on Target. Me and Evan were talking about grind, uh, wheel tapping the KFC bucket that spins. <laughs> <That'd be sick. laughs> Trials bikes, man. Isn't it funny just how wrong it feels being on a roof? Like your it's entire weird. life, your entire life, you're told do not go, go on, on roofs. Roof. Obviously, it's like the whole elevated surfaces. It's dangerous. dangerous. To fall when you're off. up there, you're always just like creeping to the edges and just like peeking over, always, like, and like trying to hide too, like making sure nobody sees you. But like everybody saw us for sure. Cops came. Cops, cops came, came multiple times. Three cops came. Yeah. Four cops, maybe. One of them was a fan. Just, yeah, he just, just came said to he say hi. Stopping by to get a picture. I, I walked out and I saw another cop there. I go, oh, great. I think he actually said that on the radio. They said, yeah, the Sea Boys are at the Pizza Ranch right now. And then he heard that on the radio. Yeah. So he drove over because he heard that. It was just such like a bizarre moment. Obviously, you're you're ripping heaters in pizza ranches and chucking little glass bottles at the wall as hard as you can, <laughs> mm-hmm. and then you're just throwing bowling balls, bowling into balls TVs. everywhere. Yeah, it, it was just such a strange moment. But hey, we're here as like your de renovator team. All right, not destruction. <laughs> we're de renovators. Some people want you to come in and renovate their place. We come in and de renovate it. Yeah, they don't know about that though. You got to tell them. Why we were there de renovating? Did you mention that? Oh, that wasn't in last. Yeah, week's it's not video. in last oh, week's shit. video. Yeah, is it? No sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Basically, That's our friend bad. he bought a bowling alley and like that was combined with a pizza ranch, and they were gonna tear it down. So they called us and we went over and just like destroyed it. But uh, yeah, that makes a lot more that's sense. That's coming Sorry, in like that's coming in like that. a couple weeks. That won't be. It was coming in a couple weeks, but essentially yeah, we're, what, we're what we did with Ken's up. house. Yeah, I mean they were both crazy, but Ken, like the neighborhood, was not prepared for that. Yeah, it is just fun. I don't know. There's something nice about just like it's it's hard to turn it off once you get yeah. going. You start just wrecking everything in sight. It was honestly quite dangerous in there because we had like yeah. it was us and uh, then Spencer's crew, other Spencer, and like there were <laughs> so many Spencer's. people. Like it was like having people ride a track in in all directions like going in reverse going forwards and hitting the jumps from the sides as well like you it was just creep like around the corner yeah you're like take a bowling yeah. ball to the Dude, chest yeah. it just gets carried <laughs> away i was balls. i was wondering when we were doing it like i wonder if there's a category of youtube you know how they have like asmr like for certain things like maybe just like opening a like two-turn a tony or something but like is there like a, a section or a genre of youtube where it's like just one and a half hours of destroying Probably. everything in sight. It's just like raw. Can you imagine? Because it's like it's, that's what it was. It's like when you throw up the fireplace on at like a family <laughs> gathering, but it's yeah. just destruction. Dude, yeah. we should almost just make a video. It's like our year-end recap video, but it's just, just destruction. destruction. You just honestly probably do things. pretty good. That's just our normal content. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like our normal content. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, though. I had a great time. until I Until I teed up this ball... <laughs> smoked it and then i hit something like directly in front of where i hit came back hit me and then i think it hit the wall and then it hit dalton our filmer in the nuts hit him square in the nuts it, it hasn't been the same since dude dude Dropped no him. no he's I, I actually felt really bad about that but i also got hit too it would have been one thing if it just i mean you hit the ball i know what do you think was gonna happen there's four brick walls around you you're hitting a golf ball off a driver yeah it what do you think was gonna happen no I, I wasn't surprised i was just more confused as to how it happened because it all happened so fast like I hit it, and then it was like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. I'm on the ground, Dalton's on the ground, and the ball is nowhere in sight. I, I was standing back a little bit for that one, and it was kind of like watching it in slow motion. I see it like ricochet off the, the where the bowling alley was, and then it ricochets off you. And then I see Dalton just double over in pain, and it was like, oh, that looks like it is not good. Yeah, that was not good. Dangerous work environment. Yeah, thank God your shin was there to break the... Momentum before it hit Dalton, yeah. dude. Straight up, this yeah, is, you, can you have this like is an injury? Be like a gnarly bruise. Oh yeah, right here. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Yeah, it's, actually, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good bruise. The exact size of a golf ball. <laughs> yeah. Do you bruise normally? No, dude. I don't. By the I time don't this podcast is out, though, I'll take a picture and we'll just put it right here. Yeah. What what it looks like? I guess a couple days later. Why? Well, I, I don't know. I guess I bruise. <laughs> I think everyone bruises a little bit. I like don't. Like, dude, I, really I don't, don't give. Yeah. Really, I've had some major slams. I broke my ankle and didn't even bruise. Really? That's yeah, it was just swollen. It would never didn't change color of the skin. What's the science so behind weird. that? Like, I've no, I have no clue. I mean, I feel like it typically happens to girls, but like a laundress, if you if she like 
bumps into a pillowcase too hard, she gets a bruise. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's pretty common with girls. That's what I'm always in. with uh, females. It seems like when they get a bruise, they remember exactly. Like they're like, "Yep, I have a bruise here. I this is what I did when I." Oh, did really? It. I then, feel like girls are always like, "I don't know." It's oh, just... that's how I am. I'm like, "What's that giant bruise on your leg from?" I'm like, "I don't know." Do you guys sometimes like like poke people's bruises when you're like, "What's this bruise from?" And then just like <laughs> while you're saying it, you also poke it. Just give it a little tap. I don't do that, but now I kind of want to. I don't know. It's kind of a dick thing to do, but hey, what's up with this bruise? <laughs> like, ah. Well, Ken. <laughs> Ken, Ken. I'm, I'm replying to Justin. Sorry to interrupt your scrolls break there, but I'm replying to Justin, but okay. So we got some terrible news. It, <sighs> it was absolutely devastating getting that news in the car. Yeah, what a hell, I, I, I just, I feel like I, I was driving and I just could not physically process it so ken was running for mayor of our town cormorant minnesota uh it was him and then three other dogs had in the bag we thought that he had it in the bag i mean 100 percent right? had it in the bag yeah so 100 percent. so he had the most statistically votes. Easy. yeah yes, so the easy. voting was all on facebook marketplace or <laughs> <laughs> yeah you gotta, you gotta buy yeah, a you gotta buy him or something all the voting was on facebook so Obviously, like, Cormorant is not a sanctioned, governed city that needs an actual mayor to make decisions about. Not to downplay it, Ken. It would have been very important. The Instagram bio is would have been the most important thing I could have won out of that race. Exactly. He was Just thinking about it for, for the, the clout, clout, right? <laughs> Voting was open to the entire world, and so we made an Instagram post about it. Ken's running for mayor. It was him and three other dogs. We thought that Ken would have had it in the bag. Little did we know that we had some corrupt politicians that were counting the votes, and... Uh, they threw Ken out. They had other plans, and Ken was foiling them by winning. That's the sad, that's the sad <laughs> it's, truth it's, of it. It's almost like this entire election was predetermined before yeah. a single vote was even cast. No, I'll tell you exactly what happened. They were discriminatory because you're a human being, and the rest are dogs. They had this whole idea like, oh, it'll be fun to have another dog as mayor, even though it's not going to be as fun because no one's going to be able to replace Duke. You were actually going to do some stuff around here. Yeah. And then the next runner up was Jake's dog. And obviously Jake has the next amount of pull. So like he probably put a story up and got a thousand or however many votes. And then uh, the, the other dogs were just probably getting like 10 because the rest of Cormorant voted maybe for them. So like there's rumors flying around the, the Cormorant village, you know, small town people talk and Kind of disgusting what they did. Yeah, yeah what's the word, Ken? <laughs> I don't want to say. Jake's dog won by a landslide. It was like 74% of the votes went to Jake's dog. So everyone thinks, though, that like Ken was still a part of it, and they that dog they still won it. 76% of the votes, and so Ken got like 14 of them. Well, no, they, they just straight up eliminated Ken entirely, and they said, okay, out of the three dogs then, Mm. But my question is, like, why did they let you in there yeah, then? I, I like, know. What's, what's the point what of was the, going what, through What was the that point thing? of that? Yeah, you were... He spent campaign dollars, dude. I yeah. did. Yeah. I drunkenly bought a billboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then the news came and interviewed. That's, That's so going funny. on national news, dude. Like, it's, it's been all over. Can yeah, we that, can we play the... Yeah, I think so. I, I have it, so we can play it. We'll oh, just damn. insert it in right here. Search have you guys seen it yet? At a time when campaigns and elections can be so contentious, along comes the race for mayor in Cormorant Village. This is no ordinary election. The results are in. And after tens of thousands of people voted through social media, the four-legged winner just wants naps and belly rubs. One problem, though, the election may be contested. That story tonight from WDAY News reporter Kevin Wallivant in Minnesota Lakes Country. You just immediately loved her. She was just a sweet dog. It's yet another perfect, lazy summer day on Lake Ida. And the Great Pyrenees, Khaleesi, seems to still be campaigning for mayor of Cormorant. Ear scratches and puppy love. But Khaleesi should relax. After a hard-fought campaign, including billboards, Khaleesi has been elected mayor of Cormorant. A town so small, there is no city government. She uh, had some tough competition, though. But Khaleesi isn't the only one who had a dog in the fight. Meet Ken, Ken Matthews, one of the Seaboys. Yeah, it's, it was me and three dogs were up for election this year. The Seaboys of rural Cormorant have nearly 4 million YouTube followers. People that love their shenanigans, a worldwide fan club. And so when Ken Matthews kind of threw his hat in the ring. Ken didn't actually know he was gonna be running for mayor. We just signed him up. 
And then he found out once the local paper came out. Ken went all in. Billboards popped up from here to Minneapolis. In the streets, like shaking hands, securing votes. He was kissing babies. Like, I, I just can't believe he didn't win, quite frankly. Parades, a campaign team. But Khaleesi beat him. Yeah, it's, you always want to see full transparency with everything. And now with the coronation set for this weekend, there's talk of discontent. Oh, yeah. We might be protesting. Khaleesi has come a long way. And Khaleesi isn't the first dog to be mayor of Cormorant Village. You may remember Duke, another great Pyrenees. He reigned over the Lakes Country community from 2014 to 2019. After four successful campaigns to get reelected, Duke finally had to retire because of health conditions at the age of 13. I remember the mayor hat <laughs> for yep. sure. Yep. <laughs> and I love that it started as a joke. His friends signed him up, but now he wants the job. Who's not going to vote Ken. for Khaleesi? <laughs> Sorry, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's rigged. Kind of <laughs> oh, not <Controversy>. again. <laughs> I saw it. Yeah, it's, people yeah, are actually so sending it to me. For the record, really? like, I, like I four absolutely people reach out last night, like texting asking me about if you it. are right, dude. It looks like <laughs> um, it looks like a like a meme, like a it reality is. TV yeah, show. It's it's so so funny. Funny. it is. Yeah, and it's so funny. It's so funny. Like it doesn't feel looked, real. The news reporter looked like he was having a great job, just like interviewing us. Great and, time, yeah. yeah. They were kind of dogging on Ken too. Like even the reporters at the, at the end, end. Yeah, yeah they're like, I felt that they're too. like, why would this guy think he could beat a dog? Like they're just like hating us. It's just it was weird. All I know is we're gonna be protesting <laughs> this Saturday. I'm we'll angry. Podcast about it. will already be out, but we're protesting. Stay tuned. That's gonna be in a YouTube video. Seems just like Cormoran's trying to fill a hole. You know, this hole the dupe left. Vote in another Great Pyrenees. Yeah, like it and looks then that the Jake's same. dad stole one from another state and brought it here. That was the other funny part. Is is as soon <laughs> as like they the, were planning on it's this. like they were planning. Yeah, yeah, this. yeah. It doesn't. Some things are adding up. <laughs> but uh, Dave hops on the phone, calls us right after the news that his dog won after they cashed the check that he wrote him to buy the votes. Yeah, allegedly. Just kidding. But, uh, <laughs> he goes he goes yeah i don't know i mean they said you that our dog won by 76 percent. i think it's just because you know it came from like a town that everyone knew the dog and they must have voted and it means you're like dave what the fuck are you talking about right now dude no this isn't legit dog dog no pun intended but yeah they're delusional yeah they all i know is be. that dog is not my mayor dog's nobody's mayor it's an it's an appointed official it's imposter mm -hmm. Not my man. <laughs> Dude, that dog doesn't even have thumbs. It is pretty funny that Ken lost <laughs> three uh, dogs. Yeah. Dude, that is insane. You you probably took dead last. Well, yeah. If, if all my votes got thrown out, then of course I got dead last. The thing is, like, I want to be like, oh, no one wanted to vote for you, but like, you had everyone voting for you, even the locals. Yeah, like, the they town. were wearing your shirts. They were putting their si your signs in their yard. All the signs we put in Cormorant Village got stolen and placed in neighborhoods. I think yeah. I actually That's, seen that. That is flattery. I think it, I seen it is flattering, like driving down my road and seeing like all the signs that were in front of yeah. Cormorant Village, and now they're on my road. I think I actually seen some signs when I was crossing the Canada border, way like three thousand miles back. <laughs> yeah, they had them up. They had them up. Yeah, they had them up. It was big. Some boomers in the local bar was like overheard talking about Ken running for mayor, and they were like. They just want them to win so they can get away with more stuff around here. <laughs> like, what do you think Ken's going to be doing as the fake appointed yeah, right? mayor? And you think Ken's root, like pulling for us to do yeah. more bad stuff? Yeah, right. He might put on more laws to keep us in place. I just thought it was funny because like hearing the other side of like, no, we don't want him in <laughs> as mayor of our town. Like it has any official meaning. You guys hear that uh, all of our social security numbers got hacked? I Wait, Spenny, that, yeah. you're Canadian. Do you have a social security number? I got a social insurance number. Oh, not a fuck is that? Number. It's he a has little no bit security. Different. It's a Just, little bit different, but it's what same, does it do? Kind different? of the same, same, same. Can you different. say yours and then also your date of birth? <laughs> <laughs> Throw your credit card. Number. I don't actually yeah. know mine. I don't no. even know mine by heart. You don't? Are you supposed? Really? To, is that a thing you're supposed to know by heart? It like, depends on I how do. much you have to use it. Like I have to use mine so much that I know it by heart. Oh, dude, I I never really use mine. What's yours, Mike? Nice. It's crazy, though, dude. If there's no security <laughs> in the number, is it just like a social number now? Like I just wonder what they're going to do with them. The article I read said almost every American got their social security. They're going to clone. Number. They're going to clone. Who, who took like, it? I don't, uh, hackers. It just said hackers. hackers. But it's like if everyone hackers? got theirs stolen, then it's they, they got sort of, yeah, then That's kind of what I thought. I was like, is it, it even that big of a deal? It's, essentially, it's like I just stole all the money in America. 
And then it's just like, what happens? Like, what are you going to do with it? What do you it? do with it? Like, money's nothing now. So are you supposed to get a new one? Can I don't you know, get it just, a new one? It just said freeze your, freeze your credit. I don't even know how to do that. Oh, I did that a while ago. I don't have any credit. Nice. Nobody's more <laughs> locked down and secure than Ken. Ken, what are some like? Adv- what's some advice for people out there? Like, what are <laughs> things that you do that just wouldn't seem real? Like, I have not never thought to lock down my social security number. You know, <laughs> how does he <laughs> dumb this down for you to understand, <laughs> In Ryan? <the> term. <laughs> I don't know. Like a few years ago, like my information was part of one of a series of data breaches and was like <laughs> it was a scarring day a YouTube video the worst day of his life so like one of the things was like oh you can like freeze your credit or whatever so if you want to apply for new loans or something you have to like unfreeze it otherwise the yeah, banks can't sense. pull it that makes sense so then it was like okay you know anytime you have to get a loan you just have to unfreeze it for a day or two and then it just goes back so that's kind of slightly inconvenient, but it's you just got to... They just smart. say, like, oh, your credit's frozen. Can you unfreeze it for us? This is totally off topic, and I'm sorry. We'll get back into Ken's Ken-isms. But why is this dude got a GoPro recording him? Can we not get him, like, an actual camera, Ryan? We no, don't. No, dude. Ryan Ryan steals too much money to have that in the budget. <laughs> like, it is, like, the <laughs> we shittiest have another quality. camera. We got, yeah. like, seven cameras laying around here. We just toss a GoPro <laughs> We up. do? He's, He's a big part of the podcast, Ken. too. He's a big part. <laughs> Ken, have you ever requested a, a camera? <laughs> Dude's in fish eye. Well, dude. it was an iPhone for a little bit, so we are That was a lot better. Upgrades, is by he at the least way. on Superview? <laughs> no, it, it's, it's the one where it, like, is super wide, so then it, like, distorts your face. Oh, Superview. Yeah. Superview. But we, we put Superview. you to in here. He's on Superview. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> How many podcasts have we done and we haven't gotten Ken an actual camera? This is 135. Dude, the budget's tight around here. Yeah, because you steal all of it. There could quite possibly not be a better time for me to tell you about today's video sponsor. I am back to tell you guys about Shopify, which is hands down the best solution to your growing business demands. We use Shopify for our website, cboystv.com, and it's drop week this week. That's right. We have a new merch shop coming up on Thursday. That means there's over 50 brand new merch items on our website, new pictures, new products, new collections. It could be a lot of work, but Shopify, they make it easy. The best part is Shopify can handle all the extra traffic that you or we are going to send them. They're ready to grow with you. And I'm telling you guys, Shopify is the best option if you're looking to start or reinvent your online business. Shopify makes it so easy for you to show up exactly the way you want to your customers. Customize your online store with your own style with gorgeous, flexible templates and powerful tools. We love using Shopify and you will too. So guys, sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash wide open, which is all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash wide open now to grow your business, no matter what stage that you're in. Shopify.com slash wide open. As we see the people that we love growing older and experience the effects of aging ourselves, it's natural for our long-term health, especially our brain health, to be at the top of mind. And one thing I'm doing today for my health in the future is taking Thesis. Thesis isn't just another supplement. Each unique nootropic blend made with natural ingredients that are tested for purity, potency, and quality is designed to support and enhance your cognitive health. Consistent, long-term nootropic use helps improve brain health and function and supports memory, focus, and overall mental performance. And for a limited time, our listeners can save up to 60 bucks on their first subscription order with code wide open at takethesis.com. That's 60 bucks off your first order at T-A-K-E. T-H-E-S-I-S dot com with promo code wide open. I don't think there's a better feeling than when everything is just clicking and you're feeling at the top of your game. Being at the top of my game is a goal of mine and taking Thesis has helped me gain natural energy and feel focused and locked in during the day. Thesis offers six unique blends to help you discover the blend that best fits your brain chemistry. So get locked in and take the free three-minute quiz to find out what your brain needs. Head to takethesis.com and use code wide open to save $60 on your first subscription order when you sign up for Thesis. That's $60 off your first order at T-A-K-E-T-H-E-S-I-S.com with promo code wide open. Maximize your mind with Thesis today. Look at our cords, dude. My cords got stolen from here. It's tough. The ne- problem is actually lenses. We have lots of camera bodies, but we don't have a lens without setting them up I think a lens is cheaper there. than an actual GoPro these days. I thought we had two wides. Well, we already have the GoPro. 
So that's free to just put there. Don't we have two wides laying around somewhere? Ken, I'm going to do something about this. Yeah? I'm going to do something. We have the FX3 you could down. use too. Ken, I want to get you on an actual camera. That's what I like to hear. He is a big part of the podcast. <laughs> well, dude. it's hard to say. <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> he is. <laughs> shit, but then, go, like, bro, filming his People do always say when Ken sits over here, so nice to have Ken on, in the podcast. Oh, that's nice. I yeah, love they that. do love it. I think it's tough because it's like some podcast he's not here at all. So then our new True. expensive camera. Uh, I'm not, I, by any means, not justifying it. I think he should have a camera too. No, we and have then, four of, of these cameras. And then other podcasts, you know, like he, he might not be very talkative. So we don't have to cut to it much, but what do you do with that board in front of you, Ken? Can you scoot that into the frame, Ken, or maybe it is the, already in frame? Ken, press one of the soundboards. <laughs> like why? Do press you, number uh, one. Next time you're gonna get my hopes up. Could you please take me to a grease monkey? Cause I like to get lubed up before I get. Huh? Wow. Some lube would be nice, or at there. least a courtesy lick. God, how about a little courtesy lick? Next time you decide <laughs> to. F- me. Wow, when Ken. did you lower that up there, that? there, dude? I didn't. <laughs> oh, you don't have to lie it's to us. It's almost Ken. like some the person in the middle did. I loaded that on there. Like, what the day we got the board? This is the what are the other thing. ones? What do the other ones do? I didn't load. Like, I only loaded one sound on there. You should be a little more dialed. Like when there's an awkward moment, press that. <laughs> that was so loud. That was really loud. Yeah, scary that too. Loud, that was yeah. scary too. <laughs> Oh, that was actually kind of scary. Headphones. Halloween music. It was Don't scary. even have headphones. Have headphones. <laughs> no shit, Ken's not paying attention half the time. The dude can't even hear us. He's sitting on the other end of the room. Well, at least we took the TV that was blocking. Yeah. I do feel like where I the can... fuck is this new TV? I, I wonder where. where. We don't even have a TV to watch now. You took it down to play Fortnite. Oh, pretty soon the desk is going to be gone. <laughs> what happened to the desk? We doing chairs in the middle of the cheap room. Cheap-ass chairs. <laughs> I did buy new chairs that aren't broken, but I, I don't think I brought it up here, actually, to be honest. <laughs> I think yeah, it's wait, still sitting in the kitchen. I put together like three chairs the other day. One's sitting there and the other one's in the kitchen. I, still. I don't think these chairs are an upgrade. No, no I, cheap, bu- I also bought the cheapest Amazon chair that you can, dude. It is Next funny, thing you know, like, we're going to be like... This has been a pretty successful podcast. Bikes. Like, if you got rid of this table, this would be the cheapest fucking podcast set <laughs> ever. Like, it'd be as bare bones as it gets. Some like, junk that we found like, around like, the you shop. You just set it up in some random like spot. Like, oh, we're going to make do. Junk. But we need it for this long. <laughs> we do have this stuff behind us. That's good. It is kind of just junk that we found around the shop. Yo, what should we hang up on the wall? Hey, let's hang up our th- 100,000 subscribers play button. Come on, That's dude. I'm working, cool. I'm cool. fucking cool. working on like it over that. here. Like things that. Roast, Come to the trying. video with an idea, I brother. Back, I think the back's pretty lit. The back's I think lit. the most the random lit. is the, the damaged Sea-Doo spark prop. <laughs> <laughs> that we actually gotta, might be. I, that was just misplaced. Or the Ford, or the Ford Raptor. That. That, is that CJ's Ford Raptor? Should we record Ken with this instead? Is that a GoPro 3? No, this is a GoPro Hero number the first GoPro ever. That's rare. I got it. I kind of need Evan in here for this. Come your on your down. sister was texting me the other day. Ev, his oh. face when you said that. <laughs> you want to get in here? What do we got going on here? <clears throat> All right. So your sister sent this to me after last podcast when you surprisingly started backing up. Fruit booting, a.k.a. rollerblading. <laughs> this guy thinks everything's Cheeto, but then all of a sudden you bring up rollerblading, the actual, one of the more Cheeto things. Are, that's not Cheeto. That's not Cheeto. I'm like, what? Dude. You're going to say that's not Cheeto out of all the other things you walk around all day and call Cheeto. Would If they're out there getting after it, how, why is that Cheeto that some kid is passionate about riding his if fucking If someone's out on a, on a Harley riding wheelies, <laughs> Enjoying I putting never on a thousand s- miles. That's not Cheeto. No, you just combine two doing things. a burnout. You just <laughs> riding. If you're doing it. wheelies on a Harley, not Cheeto. If you're going bar to bar with your belly hanging out on the Harley, that is Cheeto. All right, what do we got with these fruit booters? Okay. So <sighs> his sister sent me these. And don't call him that. That that's offensive to Evan. Is it? Yeah. Is no, it? It's a- not offensive to me at all. You call them fruit booters up north. Dude, I'm glad. I've, I've, I've never heard footage. fruit booters. That's new. It's it new. looks like you're that's on a, a scooter, scooter here. Dude, that was the most legendary Cloquet skate spot Youth in Center. No, well, yeah, it's middle school. In this way. That's a nice little four set. <laughs> nice. Whoa. Bar spin. This is an edit. Damn. Is this a, I didn't know I you chopped were that like this. Is this a sponsor me video? Was this, <laughs> like a, this looks like it was a year before we oh, had you join the what? Team. Dude, I remember making that. That was <laughs> sick, actually. From, from, from the, uh, I don't even know what they were called. Like It looked like a cassette that ran in the camera. And oh, then, it was a disc. And it then hooked disc. that up to the TV and had the VCR and... 
I where the VCR was too. attached to the TV, like it was a one piece deal, mm-hmm. and then like there was a mad delay, so it was so hard to like you were ed- like, pausing and stopping. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, know yeah, exactly yeah. what you're doing. And then the next one, I think just, it's actually this, huh? on YouTube. No, we, Evan we've, we've Chef's done this Speedo. before. I'm surprised this hasn't gotten Speedo? more views. No, we've had, we've done this. We haven't seen the Speedo one. You're in your rollerblades on a with a speedo on. Oh, what? Yeah, we were just super bored. Oh my bored. god! Wait, that's you. <laughs> oh yes. my god! What do you call that trick? of fruit booting right there? <laughs> that's an air hump. That's the definition that's of air fruit hump. booting. You're air humping, dude. I threw on a speedo dude, is, and an orange ski why, mask and hit the this streets. This is why he was the like, scooter, no, 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 no. Scooter and rollerblading, sick. sick, dude. That's not Cheeto. My favorite that's part. That's insane. <laughs> is the that's camera insane. shaking because the guy's laughing so hard? Wait, why? Why did you do? this dude literally just me and a couple buddies were bored so we wanted to do something just a couple regular guys you know when you just classic fun just yeah. out doing it a couple it. dudes hanging out just a couple Speedos regular on. guys having fun man 14 years ago wow dude you've came a yeah, long i've been way. in the game for a long time <laughs> <That's> crazy i <laughs> uh, dude you're i'm not gonna unlock it but i got like probably 30 videos on a youtube but as soon as we started hanging out i Locker really? Down. I didn't delete them just in case, but yeah, that's good. Why? I, I mean, they're Why? all stupid. I don't know. Just pull dumb. some of them up. Let's watch. Let's watch. Like I don't even know right if now. I'm signed into my. So that was on your account? Nah, that might have. No, I don't think that one actually. No, that's definitely not on my account. Actually, Eric Free. Fry. Eric Frick. Frick. Yeah. Should we be concerned that CJ has your sister's phone number? Nah, she's married. <laughs> and his mom's. Oh that's yeah, that's a little more fun. concerning, but it's probably fine. <laughs> we're just, we're just chatting. That's all we're doing. Okay, here, here's a classic scooter one. We spelt the word manual wrong. Oh. I called it world's longest Could scooter manual. Could have been manual. me and CJ editing manual. it. Manual. Manual. I went like four city blocks doing a wheelie on the scooter. And I love how they all say, buy Evan Chef. Dude, that's cool. Yeah, what, what like, on a... Uh, always sign your art. Like, Is what? that you? Yeah. No, that's him. Man. Man, you always have been a wheelie boy, haven't You're you? You're like a punk. I was a little punk. The pink scooter throws it off How a little bit. How old were you here, Ev? Uh, probably 14, maybe. 15? How do you slow down in a downhill scooter manual? Uh, you, you don't. don't. But that's the only reason you, you can go speed. so far, because you needed to go down. Yeah, you right, at the end, right at the end, there's a Corvette that drives by. Did you show the Evan Chef Speedo video? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what he I'm doesn't saying. have headphones, Ken, dude. He doesn't, doesn't know what's, know going, what's on. going on. I'm just, I'm just looking through all the videos on <laughs> YouTube. Ken, we, we just gotta give these guys some headphones. Ken, we just showed that. Just gotta talk a little louder for him, guys. <laughs> yeah, just just a couple couple BMX videos, couple, couple BMX videos. videos. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Nothing Dude, wants. What the I'm, crazy. I'm looking you were through kinda... his catalog, so. Well, yeah, but weren't you just listening? <laughs> Pretty much every video on there that's tagged Evan Chef anything is not posted by me or from me. Something that I thought was pretty funny after you commented on on what he was wearing is yesterday. Oddly enough, Evan goes, Ben, you think I'm a stinky boy? Now, at 30, you should have smelt me at 13. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't change my underpants for 45 days you one did time. Because no, they, they were my lucky underpants. Dude, I remember them. They were, they were from Old Navy. They were baby blue with gold <laughs> with goldfish on them. Not the inside. And I don't know what made me <laughs> decide that they were like my lucky underwear. And it was during the summer. Uh, so for whatever reason, I was just kept running them, hit them with a little Axe body spray. <laughs> You and didn't wash, wash them. them once. No, and the craziest part about the whole thing, because I didn't do my own laundry, obviously. How did my mom That's what I'm wondering. not notice that there were no underwear in circulation? She probably was just, just happy she wasn't washing skid marks <laughs> out, and she didn't want to ask questions. But dude, I finally had to retire them because like, the, good. The, the undercarriage of, of them literally just blew out. It was like, <laughs> it was literally the outer seams... And then, like, a middle stitch up the middle. It was, like, some misshapen thong. I just had to... <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. How, like how long, Ken, how long did you... <laughs> Dude, the, wor- the worst thing is, is after that after that run, I think I sent them into the laundry, and my mom's like, these things are shredded. You got to throw them on. I'm like, no! I got to keep those. You're going to sew them back up or what? I don't know. I think, I, I think she washed them. I think I just, like, fired them back in the drawer, and, like, they sat there for a while and thought I was too fat to fit them anymore. <laughs> how, how bad did those smell? After 45 days of wearing them in the uh, summer. They smell fine. They smell like Axe body spray. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they probably smelled exactly how you think they smell. I feel like you could get like a rash. 
doing that, I, like sweaty no, I think gear and just wearing it constantly, building up like my immune system at a young age. That's probably or, true. Were you running like the whole like wear them one way and then flip them inside out and then you flip them backwards and then you flip them backwards inside I mean, out? That is a good way to get four days out of it, but I've never fully agreed with that because then the part that was backwards the day before now is in the front, like. It's not really a good method, yeah, probably, not, at least not for me. Wouldn't, yeah, it'd be bad hygiene. <laughs> I would just like to say I went and got Ken headphones, and he looked at them and didn't even put them on. You, you don't even want the new things equipment. on, Ken? Or are you going to ask questions I, about I, something I, we talked about was, five minutes ago? <laughs> I was trying to do more research on Evan's YouTube videos. So, Did yeah. you show it the scootering one yet? No, I'm still trying to <laughs> find ones that haven't been <laughs> <laughs> Look at this scooter montage. What about the one that he wheelies down the hill? I haven't found that one yet. Yeah, because oh. it's private. Good luck. Can we get back to can we get back to the yeah. guest here? Spencer's sitting here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you guys gonna argue this whole time or what am I doing here? I'm just learning stuff about Evan might have been a little Cheeto back in the day. Oh isn't isn't Axe <laughs> body painful spray? Coming is from Axe you. body spray kind of Cheeto? <laughs> Not when you're 13. That was the cool thing. <laughs> I had old spice. I thought in Canada Axe was kind of Cheeto. Dude. Old yeah. Spice was the cool one. Do you yeah. not remember the Axe commercials in the mid 2000s They were lit. Like Axe Ryan coming. Sheckler. Double pits to chesty. Oh, like, that's true. Sh- 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 that's mo- true. He I was hitting. Who was and the moto guy that did one? Uh, it's probably Deegan. Wait, did Sheckler come up with double pits to chesty? That was just their uh, slogan. Just, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. double pits to but chesty. I think that, like, I think every athlete there, there was a handful of them. I think they all did a double pits to chesty. Maybe it was know. Sean White. He did. Uh, he did some act stuff. Did you, Adam guys, Jones? That's right. He came yeah. up with it. He was the first one to double pits to chesty. <laughs> it was kind of legendary. Yeah, that was pretty legendary. Yeah, that one really stuck. Like, talk about nine. somebody just doing something, and then your brand is just, like, forever known. Yeah. Dude, that, get, that does make X kind of cool. I am literally having flashbacks of, like, the middle school locker room. We had to share a locker room with, like, this older, the older upperclassmen, and this one guy was just a bully. Like, he would just, like, intimidate the younger, like, everyone in my class in the locker room. So, one day, once they left... I took the axe thing and the you know, there's like holes in the oh, locker. Yeah, the I just slits. sprayed the whole bottle on his clothes yeah. and then just left. And then the dude smelled like axe for the rest of the day. Wow. Yeah. But it, just for the love of the game. I didn't even tell anyone. I didn't want to risk it. I was just like, I'm going to get this guy, but I obviously couldn't do anything. So I just. Psh. Everybody's walking around. He's walking around. Everybody's telling him how good he smells. <laughs> <laughs> you probably smell yeah, terrible. You put too much of that on your clothes. You smell terrible. Gives you a headache too. Yeah. Maybe gave him a headache for the rest of the day. Yeah, that got him. That showed him. I don't know. I thought I got him better. And your your guys' reaction makes me think I didn't really get him that good. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty good. I made the horrible mistake of, under my own will, just seeing if I could fit into a locker. Oh, no. And you had and can you but Can Are you, you sure believe they didn't push you in the locker? Then they would not let me out. And all of a sudden, I was stuck in a locker. No. <laughs> and it was, and it, was a, it was after swimming. So I'm in my swim trunks in that cold little metal He's locker. He's in that little speedo Dude. that he was wearing. No, no, no. You were in swimming? Say, we, had a, we had a pool at our school. <laughs> you suck at swimming, dude. You got it all backwards. You're wearing your speedo out in public, but your swim trunks in the pool. You got to run it the opposite way. <laughs> So they left you in the locker for how long? I mean, not that, like, five minutes, but, like, I hardly fit. That sounds terrible. Dude, it was. It hurt. It was cramped. Would do. Yeah, and you start to panic just a little. Like, I'm right. not overly claustrophobic, but I was, yeah, and there's nothing you can do. Like, you Did just, you start screaming? Yeah, trying to get the teacher to come. Bit which so I'm hard. sure only made Who it funnier, it up? dude. Uh, they finally just let me out before, like, the gym teacher came in and someone got in trouble. Did you but eventually get used to getting stuffed in the locker? No. Like, it, was, it, was, it was literally the only time, and I just, I don't even know why I did it. I'm like, huh, you think I can fit? And I go in, and that door clicks shut, and I'm just like, no. It's like when we put Mike in the trunk. That would have been even scarier because it was dark. At least this had light coming in. One time I got put in a locker by... <laughs> Forcefully? I, they're my friends, I swear. They're my friends. Forcefully? I think more of like the, we should see if I could fit. Kind of things, and then they, I know exactly uh, what you're talking about. Then they, they obviously they push lock you in. They lock me in, and uh, I start squirming naturally. Oh, let me out! Let me out! Banging on it, you know, trying to get out. And then uh, it opens up, and I like fall out. And there's a teacher standing there, right? And she starts yelling at me for making what? a ruckus in the locker. <laughs> I was like, what? "This is my fault! I was stuck! I was stuck in the locker!" Yeah, you need to be quiet. There's class in session. I was like, I wasn't stoked about being stuck in there. So what what went on in Canada schools? Yeah. Some same same type of stuff. Old Spice and stuff. Yeah, Axe, Old but. Spice. 
Axe. There was some Axe. There's some Axe. Getting boys. locked in lockers. Dude, the one thing that I, I was hustling in, in like elementary, middle school, because I was going to all these dirt bike races and they're all monster sponsored. So I was getting flats and flats of Red Bull and Monster and I would take it and fill my locker and kids would meet me at my locker at like, I'd text them a time and they'd come and meet me and I'd sell them a Monster. In elementary? Or in middle school for middle, sure. Yeah. Like seven, eight, nine. There's Damn. this one name, this one kid named Kyle. Of course. Was, Typical. No, Shut the dude, fuck up. His name was actually <laughs> Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. He was the biggest, the monster. biggest Since consumer. he was born. I remember him. His name was Kyle Jones, and he wore purple shoes, purple oh. fallen shoes. Well, that's that Cheeto. Dude, that was pretty cool to have him. Jamie Thomas, great shoes. And he would come to my locker every single day. And he'd be like, yo, dude, you got a monster? He's like, I got four bucks. And I'd give him a monster every day. And I always had it stacked because I was at all these races. And that's when they would hand it out for free everywhere. Really? So Just I, a I, hot Dude, I was monster. like hustling monster and Red Bull so hard. Were you and paying then, tax on that? No, no. That was just, that was all under the table. You ever get caught up getting high on your own supply? <laughs> no, no. I never drank them. I never drank them because my parents were like, well, you can take them, but don't drink them or whatever. And then, the f <laughs> the, and then here's the best part. Just here's sell the them. Part. Just sell them at school. Yeah, just sell them at school. So here's the best part. So I'm like grade 10, 11, and 12. <laughs> I'm racing in the States. And all now I'm learning that everybody's like smoking cigars, like wine cigars and what? Really? chewing tobacco. Yeah. But in Canada, right then, they banned flavor nicotine. So... I'm going to the States every weekend, and I'm getting my allotment on chewing tobacco, like Cope Mint, Cope Wintergreen, getting all the flavors, stuffing my boots full with it, and my parents are buying it for me. I'm only 16 or 17. Why? Damn, dude. Because I was like, cool with it? No, I was like, I was like, hey, like, my buddies want me to get, like, some, some, like, Cope for them. Like, will you buy it, and I'll take it to them? And they're like, yeah, sure, we'll buy it. But, like, you can't do it. And I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it anyways. I didn't want to do it anyways. So I was buying like a tin or I was buying a log for like yeah. 20 bucks or whatever, how much it was. And I was selling a tin for $25. So I was making a hundred and like $25. Well, was that 20 log. US and then 25 Canadian? We got to be specific. Yeah. Yeah. Conversion. But that's when the dollar, <laughs> this is like when the dollar was super close. So it was almost, no, it was the opposite. <laughs> so it was better to buy stuff in the US than Canada. So, so I was hustling. You, you were slinging them out of your locker still. Well, no. By that time, my <laughs> parents had bought a like a sprinter, like your guys is black, a black sprinter, and I was driving that to school every day. <laughs> slinging out the black <laughs> sprinter, <dude>. bro. <laughs> so I was bro, slinging tins in the back. He was, was a straight up. Windows. He was a straight up dealer, dude. I was an actual dealer, and there was kids that were like, buy. They're like, dude, buying a log a week in high school, chewing a log a week in high school oh, yeah. is like kind of gnarly. Oh, I, so you were just I was, raking it dude, in. Dude, I was making, I was like making like a couple hundred bucks a month off kids buying like tins for me in high school. I'd tell my parents, I'd be like, hey, I'll give you like 40 bucks every time. So <laughs> Did you give them like, a cut? I'd give them a cut, yeah. Your parents were getting into this with you. Well, it wasn't like well, a What do your parents thing? do for a living? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe don't answer on here. Maybe don't answer on here. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Just, dude. Hey, nobody's going to turn down a free $40 bill. Hey, $40 is $40. $40 is $40. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you're like Copenhagen's youngest sponsored athlete. <laughs> Nobody wants to smell bad. And even more importantly, no one wants to smell someone who smells bad. So quit messing around with harmful deodorant and kill the smell at the source with Mando. Mando is clinically proven to control odor for 72 hours wherever you stink. Your pits, your package, your feet, and beyond. Plus, to make the deal even sweeter, for now, we guys have a special offer for you guys. New customers get $5 off a starter pack with our exclusive code and link. So use code WIDEOPEN at shopmando.com. That's S-H-O-P-M-A-N-D-O.com. Mando was created by a doctor who saw firsthand how normal BO was being misdiagnosed and mistreated. Mando is clinically proven to block odor all day and control odor for up to 72 hours. Mando is formulated and powered by, by mandelic acid to stop odor before it starts. It's more like a pre-odorant. It's pH balanced and safe for use below the belt. Clinically proven to control odor better than a shower with soap alone. I love using Mando. It's full body. It helps me stay stink free during my workouts or during a hard day working around the shop. And you don't hear anybody complain about me stinking. So that's good. Mandel Starter Pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, a cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like mini body wash and deodorant wipes, and free shipping. 
And as a special offer for our listeners, new customers get $5 off a Mando starter pack with code wide open at shopmando.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit shopmando.com and use code wide open. Thanks, Mando. Dude, I was just trying to go racing. Just trying to go hey, racing, man. It's expensive. Man. It's expensive. Just There's trying no to buy some that. grips for my dirt bike and some tires. Well, let's let's get into your racing a little bit. So, how the fuck did you get this good at dirt bikes? So, obviously, you were <laughs> racing initially. Was it always enduro? Because you you're you were a professional. <laughs> you still are a professional enduro cross rider. <laughs> Well, yeah, I don't know. What the fuck was so <laughs> funny about that? You were like, how what was you, so funny about that? You were just like, how do you get so good at dirt bikes? Like, What you do is like just pretty broad spectrum dirt bikes. Like, You're not, like, you can race. You can fucking ride on the roof know, of Pizza dude. Hut. You're dirt biking. That You're right, you're right. I'm just biking. Yeah, you're dirt seat biking. Time. I'm just, seat, yeah, honestly, so I've always, I've always grew up with bikes. Like my parents got me a bike when I was three and they took me to the track in Canada and I was like begging them to go get a bike, so they got me a quad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! I was pissed. I woke up on my birthday. You were pissed, and there was a quad there, and I was like, "This is not a bike." Like, How old were you? <laughs> like three. I what? might be three, but I know this is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny, dude. Dude, I was so mad they bought me a quad, and then I started riding the quad, and I rolled it off a bridge, and I was stuck on under purpose? it. Oh no, no, by accident, it. I got stuck under it. So then my grandpa was on a ride on mower and I rolled off the bridge on our little property. <laughs> I wish and I, I could was see stuck. This. So then they realized that the quad was too dangerous. So then they bought me a bike finally. That's and why I was a lot like, of people don't ride quads. Yeah. They're so dangerous. You know, they don't. They don't. Can you imagine yeah, if you I'm stuck with enough. the quads? Dude. You might be just like Ryan. Be doing imagine shit. riding. <laughs> would be doing nothing. <laughs> Dude, instead of me and Evan riding dirt bikes on the top of uh, the pizza plate, pizza ranch, it would have been me and Ryan riding quads on the top of pizza. No, ranch. you guys we probably wouldn't even parking. know you. You guys would have been in the parking lot just spinning donuts, <laughs> doing two wheels, dude. Ryan, <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, dude. if I was a quarter, I would have hit pizza ranch with you. Thanks, dog. <laughs> so you I start racing. Started racing dirt bikes at three, at four, and I went to like my first couple races, and I, I, dude, I used to be such a bad kid in school. And well, like, yeah, no, no shit, shit dude. I mean, you yeah, kind of explained that. that one out. <laughs> yeah, no, like young age, like four or five, oh six, seven. Kicked out, or what, what were you what doing? Were you I don't know. Then? I was silly just buddy? <laughs> 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 silly string and silly putty. Yeah. Like those all fucking the little glue. wristbands, like yeah. the the shaped silly, wristbands. Silly, uh, yeah. dinosaur, silly bands. dinosaur bands. Silly bands. Yeah. yeah. I was super ADHD, but the only thing that I was stoked about was riding bikes. So I would like fake sick. And not be sick, and then my parents would stay home from work or whatever to keep me, and then I'd just go ride, and my mom... I don't know how they would let me ride, but I would I would fake sick, and I wouldn't go to school, but then I'd somehow, at the end of the day, start feeling better. Like, halfway through, I'd start <laughs> Dude, feeling better. You might get taken away from your parents. <laughs> <laughs> at the age of 25, they'd take him away, put him in social <laughs> services. Hey, you never know. Canada might do that shit. <laughs> Dude, your parents right yeah, now might do that are shit. just like punching the fucking TV. Shut up. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Your first podcast ever and you're doing this? Dude, I was just, I just wanted to ride my bike. That's a, I didn't yeah. want to be at school with a bunch of kids drawing pictures and shit. That's like, fair. I was just That's, fair. That. That's fair. Hey, to be fair, it, it did work out for you. But yeah. okay, so you're skipping school. You're all of a sudden feeling better at the end of the day. So yeah, I was riding whatever. Started racing, and then I switched. I had a friend get hurt. I was always racing moto because I thought moto was so cool, and I thought off-road was so lame. So I raced moto, and then one of my friends got hurt, and my parents were like, all right, we don't want to see you get hurt, so we're not going to do moto anymore. So then they started making me ride off-road, and then I thought it was so lame. I was like, oh, like... They wanted to take me on trail rides and it was so hard. And I was like, I could never pick up my bike because I'm always, I'm just I'm not a huge guy and I was never huge when I was little either. So I could never pick up my bike or start my bike and I just hated it. And then I don't know, like six, 15, 16, I right when I got my license, I started uh like just going to the track every day and just riding a lot. And then that's when I started taking racing seriously. And I was I'd always done everything. Like, dude, I used to cross country ski race. I used to race moto. I used to ski, I used to snowboard, like, just, like, cross-country at school, badminton, volleyball. Like, I was always just doing, like, every single sport possible. Are, are you one of those guys that's just good at everything? Like, pretty yeah, talented? I'm not good at everything, but I've done everything, and I, I want to be good at it. So, like, I always had, like, a skateboard, and I always had to, like, 
be the best out of all my friends because I hated like them being better than me. Like mm -hmm. if like if one of my friends showed up to the skate park and hit a kickflip on his skateboard for the first time, I'd go home and practice that. And the next time I show up, I'd be doing like a, a varial kickflip or something. Like I was always just trying to like one up my buddies. I guess sounds like my buddy Evan, but he <laughs> yeah, just I was never about figured, to say he literally. just never figured out how to how to ride skateboard. Part. Yeah, the skate <laughs> skateboard is my weak still working my weak on it. point. Still working on it. So I did Better like everything like. I'm the same as Evan. Like, I was ripping scooters. I was, like, mountain biking, BMXing, like, anything roller I could blades. get, I was trying to do. Well, and if you were going to do it at all, you roller didn't... Rollerblades, yeah, I rollerblades. Like, not legit rollerblades, but I had some, and I, like, ripped them, like, doing 360s and stuff. But, like, if you did it at all, as soon as you got a taste, you're like, it's no fun to suck at this. You at least want to, like, <laughs> yeah. That That is it. a serious... Uh, I think that's, like, a good point, though. Like, it all kind of adds up together, and yeah. it creates, like, a well-rounded individual who's, and that's like, why I think multi-athlete, multi like, you when know? I cr like, I've crashed in every single sport. Some of my friends are in the best in the world at dirt biking, but they crash, and they'll break their wrists. And I do the same crash, maybe even bigger, and I don't get hurt. But I've also, like, crashed doing every, sing every single sport, I feel like. Mm. So I've, yeah. like, just built just, like, a a muscle memory of like how to crash or how to do like different weird Dude, things. Dude, you're like, like a cat. Yeah, you literally I are like a cat. I feel like a cat too. Like I feel like I could just like jump out of a tree and somehow land on my feet. Like it's weird, dude. <laughs> like off a Zorbus sign. <laughs> <laughs> Did you jump Roll off the clip. Zorbus? Well, is there a clip? Yeah, there's probably clips of us on the Zorbus. How the side. hell did you guys end up on the Zorbus? Side? Well, so we're, we're gonna get fucking banned they from were that place. Kissing? Dude, they were kissing on top of the Zorbus. We were kissing. What? The last time I went no, up we there, we were I hugging said, on oh. top of the Zorbus oh, yeah. sign. Well, we, we had were to hugging. Hug. Just <laughs> we didn't fuck. It's literally a two by we six. We had what? to hug. We're <laughs> <laughs> kissing, dude. <laughs> what? Are we kissing? The last time you I was up on there, the I said, "I, said, I, I go will. home after 10. Yeah. I said, "I will never do this again because that board is rotten with conduit." Did you to kiss it. me on the Zorba no. sign? <laughs> Yo, you're the closest you're thing up to him out up there. Oh my god, I, they wanted the whole Zorbas to see. Dude, I can't get up there and kiss. I can't believe it didn't break. Like this board is yeah, rotten. Dude. I, every time you person, get up there, and I go, I do it like five times. I'm like, I'm never doing that again because when that You've gives been out, up there five times, you're gonna have to like start putting spikes on that thing so you stop. Going up there. like yeah. the bird yeah. spikes, spikes. grease the bowl. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, it, <laughs> it kind of gets everybody going. They finish their drink, they're like, Heck yeah! And they go, spend dude, everybody was stoked. There was like 15 people around filming, it was crazy. <laughs> was was the crazy. owner out there filming too? I think he was pretending he didn't know what was happening. <laughs> I also told him I wasn't gonna do it anymore. And then, like, a half hour later. I think you guys are <laughs> the window and they see but both of you guys up there kissing. Yeah. There and was Brian's no like, kiss. Can we? I'm, there, we can't there was say no kiss. I'm not even mad. I'm just more, I'm just more confused. Just happy for you, That dude. was a survival tactic. We Two people dude. on a rotted out no, two by six. No, we need six. a line. Like, <laughs> we were trying, if they we were, were going to die, we had to kiss. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't leave it on the table. It was going to be our last kiss. What the <laughs> wait, fuck? Wait, wait, wait. Dude, I think you get some pull around there, Evan, just because you spend so much money there. They're like, eh, it's Evan. Just let him do what he wants. If he wants to kiss on the if sign. If he wants to go up on the roof, let him do it, I guess. I don't know. I There's some crazy guy on the sign. Oh, no, that's just Evan. <laughs> he says he's going to jump. Dude, I was trying to jump. I was so scared. Like, we were hugging, and the board was so small. And, like, Evan was pushing me up, and he was pushing me up. And I was like, dude, I got to jump. I got to jump. Like, I have no, to jump. No, but I'm telling you, you can't. We're 15 feet, like... Were you liquored up? No, I was sober. <laughs> One of you us drunk trying to kiss you. <laughs> he was trying to kiss me. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm more concerned that you were sober doing all this. Well, he just invited me up and I was like... <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that bad until I got up there. Dude. And then I got up there and I was like, holy shit, dude. And the worst part, the light is blinding you so you can't really see you down. You can't even and the see bugs, anybody. The bugs are so thick around that spot. Like, they're just in your mouth. You're oh, breathing yeah. them in and they're in your eyes. It's terrible. Dude, terrible it's terrible thing. up there. It's, it's so bad up there. It sucks. There's a sweaty, stinky boy trying to kiss you. <laughs> and it does it like three nights a kiss. week. <laughs> so I'm, I'm so concerned about Spenny, like, getting down safely. I'm like, you can't jump. You got to swing over to the pole and... Dude, Evan Slide was down. actually like he was holding on to me like uh, he was so comforting too. He was but, so comforting. Yeah, he's like a little nugget, <laughs> big though, warm he body. Yeah, he's he's like, like he's, he's like wait, don't like a little jump. Cinder block. He's like don't jump, just come in closer. <laughs> spent, hey, spent, spent. <laughs> Don't jump. Evan, I didn't know you got gay at elevated no, services. No, no. When it rains and when he gets when he gets up on the sign. Dude. <laughs> 
I didn't want to send don't Spenny jump. back to don't Canada jump, with a blown out ankle. Don't jump, don't jump. Just get closer. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm so concerned about Spenny jumping and hurting himself. I think I don't really remember exactly what happened because I think he was getting down safely and I got absolutely bodied into dude, the swamp. And, and there's a back. clip. And there he is a clip. I dude, fell into the swamp. Dude, he fell into arm. the rebarb. I blew my arm off. And yeah, I yes. swear, you get more beat up off camera. I'm down safe. Anything. I got down and I was safe and I had I forgot heaven was still up there. And I look back and I just see like a body <laughs> falling through the air and then I see a bunch of like like reeds and like cat reeds just <laughs> cattails flying all over the place. That's what I wake up to is a video of Evan falling <laughs> eight feet to the ground into the swamp. We found out that Ryan doesn't know how to get down from elevated surfaces either. Bro, yeah. that was hilarious. Dude, what what was do you mean that? I got down just fine? Yeah. Well, like seven minutes later. Take it Dude. slow. You look like the little kid. Like, it reminds me of Aiden when he, he climbs a tree and he's so excited to get up there. And then he's, he's, he's as high as he's going to go and he looks around and then just, I don't know what I'm doing. He's just like, <laughs> free, you just freeze up. <laughs> yeah, when you were hanging off, when you were hanging off the roof of Pizza Ranch and your legs were dangling. And you kept going, it was awkward to watch. I don't know what watch. to do. I don't know what to do. And we're just like, just... Just drop. Just you're like six inches off from just getting down. And you're, I don't know what's underneath me. The ground. It's scary though. It's scary, and there's a sharp edge you're hanging off too, man. No, it Thanks, is blind. Bro. I'll give them the benefit of that it's one. Blind. It is blind. You had to go like tin roof, which was slippery, to to an air conditioning unit to the ground. It was. Imagine being technical. 15 feet up, blinded by the light, with a sweaty guy trying to hug you. <laughs> Kiss you. But yeah. Uh, anyways, the bike stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, go back to it. Let's hear it. I think. Oh get yeah, to yeah. That part. Don't skip ahead though. I'm. I'm actually no, we, curious. We're, we're running through the whole timeline here. We'll go through the whole timeline. So yeah, Mike. Chill. Start whatever. Copenhagen at three. I started selling whatever, trying to ra race dirt bikes, and then sixteen, seventeen. I was like, should I go pro skiing or should I go pro dirt biking? And then I was like, Ooh, that what a dilemma. Too. I wasn't that good, but like I had gone to some like ski camps and I'd gone to some dirt bike camps and I liked them equally both. I think any way I would have went, I would have been pro. Like I have like that mindset. Like I agree. Anything that I do, I want to be the best at. And like, I don't want to like half ass anything. So if I would have gone and been a, like, I could have been a skater. I could have been a skier, but like the wheels have always been like kind of my thing. Like I always mountain biked and like dirt biked and did whatever on the wheels so then 16 17 i start racing in the u.s i got good enough in canada that i could win like some local stuff and then i was like what's the next step it's the u.s so then started going to the u.s got good and then i got picked up by my first team in the u.s when i was 17 for what it was a ktm satellite team out of washington and uh in enduro cross yeah enduro cross and hard enduro what's enduro cross enduro cross is like man-made obstacles in a stadium with like 16 riders on the track and Gnarly. it's like cutthroat everybody's like slamming each other there's crashes everywhere and we're hitting like huge rock lines like big tractor tires and you're doing it for like seven minutes and there's three motos, and whoever does the best in the three motos wins the overall. Like whoever gets Damn. the farthest? <laughs> yeah. There's like, logs, water. <laughs> logs, water crossings, like rocks, cars sometimes, like just weird obstacles. So I started doing that, and then I went to a desert race in Arizona, and I won it. And then the team was like, hey, you won this race. You should go to the next one. So the next one was in Vegas. Went and won the next race in Vegas. And this is like desert racing. So I had I had an enduro cross bike, which was set up different. I had a hard enduro bike, which hard enduro is like big mountain skiing. We're going up like m huge mountains. You don't even know what you're going to see. You could see like a five foot water crossing, river crossing, or you could find like a rock wall that isn't even rideable sometimes. And we have to help lift our bikes up. But like you have to get there and uh, like second, first, second, and third and whoever will help each other sometime. Like, the tracks are that gnarly. They're super grueling. We're out there for five hours. Like, it's gnarly. Jeez. It's some of the gnarliest, like, riding you can do. Super hard on your body. I was doing that, and I had a bike for that. And then I was racing desert, so, like, I was riding a lot of motocross. Like Baja? <laughs> Not Baja, but, like, kind of like Baja. Like, sand whoops and, like, just, like, a moto track with no jumps, but through the desert. So, kind of gnarly. Like, rocks and stuff. And so, I did three series, and then that year... <laughs> was 2018 I won a 
U.S. Works Championship. That was like right when I was like, all right, like I'm actually getting good at dirt biking. It was weird. I'd come off of the race and I would tell my parents, I'd be like, they'd be, I'd win and I'd beat all these like super fast kids. And they're like, how do you feel? And I was like, I feel like I'm not that fast. And they're like, yeah, but you won. But I was just getting so good that like it was like becoming effortlessly. I did that year and then the next year I got sick and that was COVID 2019. No, 2019 I got sick and I was just like, I went from being like a really, really fast rider and I just could like my training went downhill. I got really sick and then COVID happened. And then I was like, I need to start finding something to do because I couldn't race as much because I got super sick. So then I was like, maybe I should start YouTube. So I started vlogging the races, which is like, was From rare. the sideline? No, no, I was racing them, but I was like vlogging everything I would do. So I would go. Then it got hard because I was driving to the races. I was mechanicing on my own bikes. I was filming my own vlogs, editing my own vlogs, like getting my own sponsorships because I didn't get a team because I... So you <clears> fell off the team after you got sick. I fell off the sick. team after I got sick. Were you getting paid back <clears throat> before you got sick? Yeah, yeah. So, so like that was your full-time job. I missed... Uh, the first semester of grade 12, my graduation year, because I was in the U.S. racing uh, mm-hmm. dirt bike series. So it was weird. Like, I graduated high school with all my friends, but I was gone for half the year. And then I just came back, graduated with them, and then went back to the U.S. and kept racing. How much were you making, like, a senior in high school when you're running think, full-time moto? So that year, I won a chance. I think that year I was, like, 50 or 40K U.S., I was only working. It was good. It was That's really pretty good. Decent, it dude. was really good. And then I was working. I, I had this program at high school where I didn't have to take options and I could work in the afternoon. So I'd go to, I'd go to class 9am to 12 and at lunch I would leave and I'd go to a dirt bike dealership and I'd work as a, an apprentice mechanic hmm. and I was getting hours into my blue books and I was like, maybe I'll be a dirt bike mechanic when I'm older. So I was building hours so I could go and just test my first year as a mechanic. And then I just was like, by that point, I was so sick and tired of working on my bike and other people's bike. I was just like, I cannot be a mechanic. So I bailed on the mechanic thing, but I was working all through high school. And I was the only kid in high school out of all my friends that had money because I was winning races and making money. I was working from lunchtime till six every single day. So I was making like 18 bucks an hour every day for like... The whole grade 11, grade 12. From 2020, I started making YouTube videos. They're not even anything crazy, but, like, just vlogs behind the scenes of what it's like to be, like, a pro racer. Mm -hmm. And that helped me with my sponsorship. And then I started building, like, my own platforms. And then at that point, I had met Buttery Films in California, which a lot of people know. He's, like, a legend on YouTube. Like, honestly, dirt bike community legend. Just honestly, just vlog legend. He's been on the podcast. Yeah. Did yep. you know did you know him like before you met him obviously? You knew he was YouTubing and like doing his I, stuff? Yeah, I knew who he was. The way I met him was I met Medium Boy because he was filming back then. Mm. And he came to film my KTM team's photo shoot. And that's oh, how I really? met him. He got so, hired to do so it. So he got hired to film my photo shoot. And this is when I was the champion too. So I had like the number one on my bike and stuff. And then that's sick. he was like taking all these sick videos and photos and whatever and then He's like, we're going to go see Young Pinch in in uh, San Diego tonight. Like, you should come. So then I was like, I was like, yeah, I'll come. And then I went and I met Buttery and, like, all the California kids. And then we started doing this thing. We'd go to the tracks, and the tracks would be perfectly groomed and perfect, but there would be some huge rock in the parking lot. And I'd look at it and be like, dude, I think I can hit that. <laughs> and he's like, what do you mean you think you can hit that? And I'm like, dude, like, I think I can ride my bike over that rock. And he's like, all right, let's film it. And then... We started going to all these tracks and I was just hitting these weird obstacles like rocks in the parking lot and like started like jumping out of cars. And I like, I think in like 2020, I rode my dirt bike through his house and did wheelies in his kitchen. Like I was doing circle wheelies in his kitchen. And it was just like, I don't know. We just started hitting weird stuff and that's the way. And then you're the king of that. Now. Dude, I yeah. think that's, you're the king that's of that. your MO. Dude, yeah, now we're riding thing. on Pizza Ranch's roof. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> air conditioning units. One too. thing leads to another. I'm, I've always been a racer, but now I'm just like, I honestly like it more just doing like fun stuff. Next weekend, I'm racing a Red Bull race. So. And I just came and rode on the roof of a Pizza Ranch. Like, <laughs> you're no training, other pro. Dude, you're training. No yeah. other pro is going to, like, I'm in the pro class. No other pro is doing that. Like, they're all at the gym training right now. And I'm like, I'm gonna ride on a podcast and yeah. hitting pizza ranches and throwing bowling balls through TVs. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> thing. Well, you, the, well, that's why we get those guys aren't so friends well. with us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why we like you, Spenny. You, you have the talent, but you're also a good time. 
Yeah. yeah you're yeah, not, you're sure. like taking yourself too seriously. Like, I'm a pro. I can't be riding dirt bikes on top of pizza ranches. <laughs> yeah. Dude, <laughs> I don't really have as many sponsors anymore because the race, the, some of the companies in the industry are like super racy and they're like, oh, like that's kind of dumb or whatever. Like, but some companies think it's sick. So I just like prioritize myself around the companies like that think that's cool. Like you guys have Kenda helping you out. They help me out a bunch mm-hmm. and they're like stoked on it. They're like, yeah, you just rode a dirt bike through a house. Like, we, they think that's sick. So I, now I'm, like, I cater my whole, like, sponsorship program to suit, like, what I'm going to do because I know what I'm doing. But then also, like, I'm going to go and do a world championship in Europe. But I'm also, like, going to go hit a Red Bull race in Tennessee and then film dumb stuff with you guys. You're like, just down for it all. Dude, I, yeah. I'm just down for anything, honestly. So, like, you got this... Well, we've had a, a few now in the time of us knowing you, but you have these moto vans, and they're built yeah. out for like sleeping in. You can haul all your bikes. Like, like I go and like look in it. <laughs> what it does more than sleep in those vans? Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, as, yeah. You, as you would imagine, um, you can cook in them. Yeah. you can yeah. do it. You can everything. clean in them. You can do so anything. Anyways, <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> it's interesting dude. though. Like you go in there and like how well thought out they are, and like you could live. You you live out of that thing for the most part, and you yeah. just going all over the United States in it, which yeah. is just, I mean, I think it's super interesting and you, you've it's been kind everywhere. Of a, it's kind of a weird lifestyle. Like it the is. moto community. You're by yourself too, for the Dude, most I'm part. Just you, by you're meeting myself. up with your friends. Yeah, but. through biking and just racing, I have friends all over the country. I don't call myself a couch surfer, but like <laughs> they became like family friends just from racing. So like if I go past their house and I don't stop, they'll be like, what, what you're in fuck? my town and you got a hotel? Like, like we're not friends, and I'm like, yeah, well, like dude, like if you want me to come stay, I'll come stay. So then, well, it's because you're a good time. Yeah, like, you yeah. Are. yeah, some people just have that about them where it's just like, bro, we love it when you come to town and hang out good with us, hang. and you are yeah. always, always welcome. The door's always open, and that's where, like, yeah, if you drove through the town and you didn't stop, yeah, and hang dude, out, I'd be, be like, like what? what? That would we, be a little weird. We I'm not what's, gonna lie, I'd be like, that? what? Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I just now I I do have a van. I got a bed in there. The bed. Gets used sometimes, but <laughs> this dude Evan's is so revved. Why are you looking at me? You this dude is my- so revved up after talking about the sign kiss. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I have nothing to add to this. But that's the moto. The mo. Honestly, the moto lifestyle. It's kind of like a surf lifestyle, you know. Like it's just like super chill, laid back. Like we're all just doing the same thing, just hanging and. You know, like any of my friends, if they want to come to Canada, I'm like, dude, you have to come to Canada. We got an extra room at the house. They come stay for a week. We go hit the mountains, do whatever, show them, show them the Canada dream. And in Calgary. Yeah. Calgary. Dude. What's the one race in Europe somewhere that's super legendary. Erzberg. Harrisburg, Erzberg, Red, Rodeo. Red Bro- yeah, Erzberg. Have you Rodeo. done that? No, I need to. I I want to do it, dude. When you do it, that'd be sick. If we like flew out and and filmed it and maybe put Evan in it, dude. <laughs> no. I'm Can we start do training this? now? Can we actually <laughs> do this? run this in twenty seven? I'll take this. No, no, yeah. I'm gonna need that. <laughs> what, if we put Mike? what if we put Mike in it? <laughs> Good luck, dude. I'm not even kidding you. Like, if I had more money, I would do everything. Six <laughs> days, know? six days, Team Canada. I could do it, but it's like thirty grand. What so race? Whoa. One race, thirty grand. What yeah, the? because you have to what ship. What are you paying for? So it's six days racing in the row, and you ride for seven hours a day. It's literally much. insane. It's, it's like insane. the Iron Man oh, of Iron K- Man the races. KTM it's six days. The KTM after, right? six days. But they also have an Erzberg specific Rodeo. bike yep. as well. Oh. So you have KTM to, Erzberg. dude, you have to buy a brand new bike, which is like. You have grand. to run the KTM. No, no, you can bike? buy you can buy oh, any okay. bike. I was like, damn, but you have to dude, buy. Damn. You can't go and ride for six days straight on a used bike. No, you like, start you with a brand was new the bike. Yeah, the total. No, at the yeah, end. you start with a brand new bike, zero hours, and when you're done, six days riding in a row, it has like forty hours on it. That, that sounds like maybe a used even bike more that we'd buy. Maybe even more than forty hours, but that's like in six days, yeah, forty hours, lot. and it's probably that's a lot work. And you're like, yeah, you're racing it. So like, where's that at? Every year it switches. I think this year it's like uh What do you Spain? keep looking at me for, oh. CJ? Sorry to interrupt, it was, but... It was amazing. But, uh, like... <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, Ivan, why'd you interrupt them? I was just... <laughs> I was just thinking about Evan, how he was saying, like, he, he doesn't have a lot of time to race anymore. He used to race. I'm like, well, here we go. Enter in this race. You're going to have fucking seven Dude, days Evan. straight arriving. <laughs> Erzberg Rodeo. Time is just an excuse for being fat. <laughs> <laughs> So many people ask me, they're like, oh, you got to come do this race. You got to come do that race. But I can only do so much. I'm just a regular guy 
with a moto van, you know? <laughs> That's true. You can't drive the moto van. I can't drive my to moto Europe, van down dude. there. Isn't there a ferry or something you could take? <laughs> <laughs> she flies you over there. <laughs> Yo, Spenny just tearing up Europe with the moto van. Oh, that'd be the dream. If I could ship that thing to Europe and rip around. They make moto vans over there. I was going to say, you could just buy one. Yeah, you could. You Dude, could. That would be pretty awesome, though, if we went to Europe. We've never been to Europe, so it'd be kind of cool. Dude, yeah, we got to go. do something like that. I want to go to a big trip. Amsterdam? We sure. Like, whatever Stuart, you want. I've been, so last year. What do you want to do in Amsterdam, man? Hang around. Find some know. elevated check, check surfaces. Just check it out. Find some it's signs a, to climb up on, dude. Probably. <laughs> ride on a pizza ranch. They got pizza, ranch, got pizza ranches down there. We could ride on one. Oh, KFC. KFC. Yeah. KFC yeah. We'll find something to do. So but yeah, I got a weird resume now, you know? Like, I probably have the weirdest resume out of any pro that I hang out with. 100%. Yeah. I'd agree. I mean, most of them probably would be, like, I guess just nervous to... To do anything odd yeah. like that for yeah to do a one eighty on I top of a pizza ranch it's like it's not worth it yeah and now I just like I've hit so much random stuff like I can look at and you guys have seen it I look at something and I'm like all right I can do that and you guys are like oh, I don't know it seems a little sketchy here <laughs> yeah CJ I mean, usually is getting well, scared for the me. Worst no when, I just when you, don't want you to get hurt I know, doing I know. something for our video and like I just am looking out I would for never you. go like, too hard though I'd never yeah, go too I, hard like, where I'm like think I'm actually gonna really get hurt. I Isn't just don't worse? expect you to do anything. I just like, if you think. Yeah. When you're confident about something. It's and it makes me second that, guess. I know. It and they, 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 they don't really even wrap their head around like the trials bike thing. And you're like, I got this. Like, are, you, are you sure? You're like, yeah. dude, just chill. Roll yeah. the camera. Let me run this. Yeah, yeah, true. Well, once you say that, then I'm like, all right, let's roll the camera. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But yeah, I, I got a weird confidence now where I'm just like, most things I look at, if I think, if I'm like, oh, I can hit that, then I'm like, usually good to hit it. But if I'm like, look at it, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this one, boys. Like, it probably isn't going to go, but Dude, I'm still I can't s- imagine what that looks like <laughs> for how many things that you have done just effortlessly for you to look at it and go, ah, I don't know, boys. It'd have to be like a three story just brick wall. <laughs> like, do you think that if you'd you still came probably in hop fast up enough, it. you could make it to the top? I don't know. Uh, if you just throw a log at the bottom, I'll pop up it. <laughs> 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 just do you have a stick? That's what you'd say. That is crazy. Uh, yeah, there's a there's like a small twig right here. Yeah, I perfect. Put that down right there. Yeah, put that too. Yeah, that's what you do. That's what I you literally do. did that. Ben's like, where do you want this? He's like, you want this stick right here? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, this stick right here. And I'm like, yeah, just put it right here. And he's like, right here. Like, are you sure? Right here, <laughs> dude. Or, or on the van, you're like, oh man, I think I got to like shovel up a lip. You put like two scoops of dirt. <laughs> yeah. Stop literally, on it. Literally yeah. dialed. <laughs> I'm Evan's envisioning there. shoveling for an hour like you're going to build some jump. Evan was literally out there with the skid steer prepping the van <laughs> jump for probably 30 minutes to an hour. And I was like, I went over and looked at it, and he's like, how does that look? And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to get a shovel and fix it up real quick. I took a shovel, literally put two piles of dirt, and just kicked it in with my foot and then hit it. I believe So it. I did good. I was real no, close. You did, yeah, you did. <laughs> I was you close. Were, <laughs> you were close. You talked about, like, maybe being a skier. Then you decided to go pro dirt bike. What do you think would have gotten more chicks? Dirt bikes. Dude, uh, dirt bikers don't get chicks. You must not <laughs> be a dirt biker then. <laughs> I don't get chicks. Really? <laughs> All that well, time on the road? It's lonely on the road. But I'd love to have a nice girl in the, in the passenger seat. I got an open seat. Well, just the door no, short, not. town to town hop. <laughs> passenger door is always open. <laughs> Back door is always open too. <laughs> <laughs> if you got a bike, if you got a bike, that is. There's yeah. always room for another <laughs> bike. That's going to be crawling in there tonight. <laughs> you, you're falling asleep. You just hear. <laughs> it's Evan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, He's you, wearing his lucky underwear. <laughs> if you see a moto van with a SW17 sticker parked at a Flying J, the doors are always open. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Skiers skiers rip. I think if I could be one person that was like good at something, I'd probably choose golf. Really? Really? Yeah. It's think- the lightest duty on your body dude, and you make the most money. I know, dude. Yeah. I dude. wake I roll up in the morning out of bed and my sh- I gotta like I need a ratchet straps to pull my body out of bed because I'm so sore. Really? Dude, I'm so sore. My hips hurt, my back hurts, my neck hurts, my shoulders hurt. Dude, you guys don't even know this. I've had a hernia since March last year. I got tendinosis in both my shoulders. I've never even had an injury in my shoulders, but I they're injured. 
from just riding too much. Really? Yeah. The last like hour of you talking about how sick it is to be a moto guy, I was like, I should, I should do. No, I, no. I, no. Obviously, Ryan, I cannot because I'm an idiot. Ryan. As long as we but then I go and throttle on it. <laughs> Ryan gets a dirt bike. But I go, Ryan damn, it sounds so sick. And then you start talking about how much pain you're in. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. No, it is sense. sick. It is sick. It's sick to like. Fuck yeah, it is. It's but. sick to just hit cool shit. I'm gonna be honest, but. Yeah. At the same time, like you got to look in the mirror, Ryan, and yeah. just know when you're not that guy. Dude, yeah, I know I'm not, but Ryan's in like some moto. I gear. actually <laughs> <laughs> just imagine him in like a full set of moto gear. <laughs> I've seen it before, and I would like to not think about it. Put a trailer hitch on the Corvette. The bike That'd be fucking bike, sick. bike hauler, Joe That'd hauler on the Joe hauler Honest, on the Corvette. You could just pull up in the rig, take like one lap, just chill, put out the vibe. You pick up some chicks for I'd sure. Be at the absolutely track. the most punchable guy at the track. <laughs> put out the vibe, <laughs> dude. No, but wait, something about the moto guys getting chicks. This is something that I, I hang out with a lot of moto guys, <laughs> and normally chicks think that moto guys are the creepiest dudes that they've talked to. Really? Like they're like, like I've talked to some girls, and they're like, "You're a moto dude," and they're like, "Oh, that's such a red flag." Like, I dated a moto good dude. He's a douchebag. And I'm just like, oh, okay. You tell him it's a red I'm like, flag I'm if like, they dated a moto dude? And then I'm like, I'm like, wait, I'm not a moto guy. I'm an enduro guy. <laughs> 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 Unbelievable. Dude, moto guys, some of them are gnarly. They're gnarly. I'd say all of them are. I don't know. They're just gnarly. Like, they're just different. Different breed? Just It's just a different breed, like. You just are smelling gas all day. You're getting covered in oil and stuff. You, what You're are you talking about smelling gas? You run electric, bro. I know. I run electric, but I'm still, it's, I, I still like to smell it when I'm at the races. Get a quick whiff. I still got the two smoke. No, I know, I know. Go on there, huff a little bit. So get the feeling. Yeah, so Spenny's riding a Stark. We have two Sparks. Shout out Stark. Not Spark. Stark. Stark. Riding a Spark oh, Stark. jet ski. Did I say Spark? The, <laughs> the first time you said Stark, the second time you said Spark. Oh, I'm confusing myself. <laughs> you, you don't want those things to spark. No, you you don't. <laughs> don't water and batteries do not mix. You get fire. <laughs> <You get> fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, Spenny's on the uh, on the Stark. What do you think of electric taking over like the power sports world? I, it's never. I don't <laughs> think it's ever gonna take everything over. It's gonna be its own thing. Like. It's just like a leaf blower. Like, some people like the electric ones. Some people like the gas ones, you know? <laughs> like, they're just different. Bro. <laughs> Put it on the table. I don't think it's that funny. <laughs> it's, it's funny. You're <laughs> interrupting <laughs> the podcast. Yeah, CJ what is, is dialing in. <laughs> what is wrong with that? He's dialing in. Cheeto. <laughs> you, you don't even know what that is. It's an ionizer. <laughs> no, it's not. Then what is it? Do you have an app on your phone that tells you what's happening inside of that yeah, water can bottle? Can you change the color of the light? <laughs> One second. No, I can't. That means I, it's running out of battery. I do apologize, Spencer, but I found it awfully hard to concentrate when CJ was using this pretend toy to make him feel healthier. <laughs> this pretend toy. It doesn't make me feel healthier, but I'm hoping it will. What, what's the brand called? Uh, uh, Fisher Price? <laughs> EcoGo. Fisher what, what is Price. it? EcoGo. What's the, the thing you do that makes you feel the healthiest, you think? Just being sober. Fuck. Boom. Drinking water? <laughs> <laughs> this, guy, this, this guy on the end over here. Hey, you invited me on. He's such a pervert. He's such a pervert. No. Dude, is it raining outside mm. right now? No, I, I'm serious. I think being sober, like not drinking, not everything, like nicotine, chewing tobacco, zins. I drink rarely, but anything else I like don't ever do, but I don't think it's like, it's not going to help you out there. Dude, I, All right, well, what's the I second thing? Is, I don't think this is breaking <laughs> yeah, news. There's got right to be something now. else. Something else. got to be something do. else you're doing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> something more practical. Yeah, what? <laughs> All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this, play this for you. It's a short little thing because I know you can't read, Evan. And <laughs> so I'm going to have it, I'm going to have it into the mic and then everyone will hear it. You drink your sparkly water, Evan, and then you might This isn't read. sparkly water, dude. It just tastes got, like normal water. I got bubbles in here, too. All right, this is what it does. <laughs> the benefits of hydrogen water are, so you put hydrogen ions in, in, into the water so it improves. It not only feeds the hydrophiles in your, in your You don't even know what he's saying. Bloodstream, but it will improve your, it'll improve the absorption of, of, of nutrients and supplements in your stomach. It actually helps enzymes further break down. They com complete what's called this lock and key method in, in in your stomach the the studies on hydrogen water and um, neuroinflammatory disease and neuroinflammatory. chronic inflammation are astounding the 
benefits of hydrogen. Right there. So it basically just reduces inflammation in your body, and it especially has been shown in studies that it reduces neuroinflammation. It tastes like normal ass water. I just figured if it maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't. But Ev, it, you hey, can't do anything that's good for you Ev, around I'm here. This guy's got a fucked up head, Ev, and you're yeah. chirping him for it. I'm just trying. I didn't trying know everything that's what I it was about. <laughs> just trying it's everything fun. I can. No, it's not. It's just like for everything. It's just was, might be good for you, that, might not. But either way, it's just water. So was who cares? that water bottle less than a hundred dollars? No, this one wasn't. I have two of them. How much did it cost? This one was two hundred. Okay, everything on Reddit said it's a scam, but... I was just going to say, Google maybe is it a is. scam. Reddit, Reddit, maybe it every is. single Reddit comment was, this, this is a scam, seem- this is a scam, this is a scam. Right, well, maybe But is. is that guys like Evan on there that are saying that? I mean, I, I don't know. You what kind of guys are saying that? The guy with the maybe maybe it is. Chester. <laughs> Either way, I'm just drinking Chester. water. What's the difference? Yeah, Evan's there really go. fired up about that water bottle. Well, I just think it's a crazy little device. Especially because we're using po- like bottled water, anyways. I thought maybe it would make more sense, it's like just if like, it was a purifier I don't know. It's out of your tap. Putting but. something into the, it might make the water better, might not. I don't know. I'm gonna do it though. Sometimes doing crazy things that even if it's a three percent chance of making you feel better is worth it. Yeah, Spencer, you you had a yeah. health problem you were talking about. <laughs> I yeah, I got sick for like a a year. I was training and racing so hard in 2018. Like I was doing, I did. 30 race, 30 plus races that year. And I was training every day. I was working and I was just so run down. And then my stomach started falling apart and I got this thing. Basically I was sick for a year, lost like 40 pounds, which I'm already like super skinny. So like imagine me losing 40 pounds and you'd like see my cheekbones and stuff. Yeah. I got super sick and then I got diagnosed with this thing called Crohn's disease. Mm -hmm. And, but now I'm better. Now I give myself this shot every two weeks yeah, I'm with or like CJ, bedridden though. for like Oh, bedridden oh, wow. for like a year pretty much. Like, you want to hear a crazy date story? I got a crazy date story actually. So this is when I was in my Crohn's flare up. So, just dying from Crohn's, but I'm like I am like I should probably go on some dates like I haven't been seeing any chicks or anything. So I go on this date with this chick and I'm like freaking out hoping that I don't have a flare up while I'm with her and she's like we go fly fishing or whatever. We're walking down the river and I'm just like we're like 30 minutes from the car at this point, and I'm feeling good. I'm like, all right, this is going good. Everything's going good. And then we just like get 30 minutes away to the fishing hole. I turn to her. I'm like, hey, this is going to be really weird, but like I got this really bad stomach problem, and like I can't really control when I have to go to the bathroom, but like I have to go like right now. Oh, and no. she was like, she's like, oh my God, like I'm so sorry. Like I was like, yeah, like. I'm, like, super sick right now. Like, it's, like, not contagious or anything. Like, I swear, like, I'm fine. But, like, I just got to rip into the woods. (laughs) 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 And I'm, like, are you cool just to hang here? Like, I got to rip into the woods. Like, I'll be back in five or ten. Like, what'd you wipe with? Sock? Probably just a t- No, I was wearing this Fox Honda t-shirt, and it was my favorite t-shirt, and I had a hoodie on. Oh, no. I was, like, I didn't tell her, but I just, I had to hit the Fox Honda t-shirt, and I was yeah, bummed, no. too, because it was nice. Could have at least tried to just rip the sleeves and salvage the But it was one of those nice shirts, and I wasn't strong enough, because I was all malnourished from my disease that I was getting, so I couldn't rip the sleeve off, so. Put it on a sock. But, dude, I was, like, it was the most awkward date I've ever been on. I'm, like, hey, like. I got a bad stomach problem. I'm going to diarrhea in two <laughs> seconds. So, like, I'll be back, but just hang here. Don't leave. Like, Can you I'll put be on, back. like, a podcast so or something so you don't yeah. hear me? <laughs> so that's what would happen whenever you had a flare-up. You would oh, basically God, instantly so like, your pants. If I had a flare-up happen, I had maybe three minutes to get to a toilet. And otherwise, if I wasn't, it was going in my pants. And I, like, dude, I could be, like, laying full plank, pinching my cheeks, and it would still come out. Like, really? Like, Fighting it as hard as possible. There's nothing you could do. That had to have Dude, gotten it like put sucked. you in so many bad situations. Dude, I was at red lights like three minutes from my house, and I ran red lights because I was like, <laughs> really? I don't want to blow up my van seat. Right. <laughs> right. Oh. I'm sorry, not like to mean to laugh, but no, it's hilarious, dude. <laughs> it's actually hilarious. So what happened with the girl? Did it, it work out? Did, was it that didn't work own, out. That was no. your only date with her. That was our only date. We mm. never went on another date that's, ever again. Was it because like you weren't vibing with her, or she just was like not in? Well, I imagine like her going and telling her friends, be like, her friends are like, "Hey, how's your date go?" Yeah, the dude had to run to the woods for thirty minutes to take a shit. It was thirty <laughs> minutes. Well, it wasn't five or ten. Damn, bro. Like oh, I was just, I bummer. was so bad. I was just like major stomach pains, just never getting it all out, just dying. Ugh. It was so bad. But yeah, so I'm with CJ. Like, I would hit that. 
if somebody was like, hey, if my doctor was like, hey, this might actually help you a little bit, like, I wouldn't, it doesn't hurt, I don't think. Yeah, yeah like the <laughs> slightest chance that it makes you feel better. Yeah. That Fucking is pray. crazy, though, dude. I'm going to go buy a copper bracelet. Those little balance bands. Yeah. Power bands? Little power band, yeah, power, power balance bands. bands. You guys remember those? Yeah. I maybe yeah. might have been at be- better at middle school basketball. How much money do you think power, power band, band actually Did made, though? Did they get though? sued? Fucking, I bet dude, I power put band you. made a lot of money. Yeah. A lot. Right, they they had like the, the whole claims. gimmick about Dude. it too. Like you'd go to the store and they'd be like, "All right, they'd like uh, be like, look, move oh, you back, yeah. Yeah. yeah." And then like, or they'd like push you one time and you'd like step back, Dude. and then, and then you'd, you'd do it the that... second time, but you'd be prepared Dude, for it. I saw that and in that... Sturgis. I we walked by when we were doing our uh, Harley gear up. I saw whatever. that too. I saw and that too. We had yeah, the yeah, guys yeah. like pushing on her arm or whatever. There's that one nerdy kid that would get it at school, and he'd be like. You'd be like, what's that on your wrist? And you'd be like, oh, it's a power band, actually. You want to try it? It actually works. And then he'd, like, do the little stupid demo and show you. would be like, dude, I dude, don't think this works. When I was in, like, the eighth grade, everybody had those power Yeah, me bands. too. It was or like, the I Heart Boobies ones. Well, I don't think those are doing anything. They were I, just cool. I yeah, those were cool. They those did, are true. I think they did equally dude, as much. Dude, I Heart Boobies. Band. Those things were no, just dude. literally a sticker on some rubber, and then it was like, yeah. oh. The I Heart Boobies bands were so sick back in the day. Like, if you had one of those, you were the man. Or the Live Strong. The Live Strong. Live Strong. Ones, the that was like, that one. was like 2000. Dude, Wasn't there like a big controversy six. about that? Or yeah. maybe they're just I think people it was bootlegging just, them just, or No, whatever, so like it was a big deal because I don't actually know It was know supposed why. to all I, donate I to cancer, but there was people was making a lot Live of Strong, money off it. Was, it was, was Armstrong. You're we right. I, yeah, I it was Armstrong. There was a bootleg. When did when it came out that he was like the doping thing. Yeah, I think it was right after. That was. Because he was like one of the biggest celebrities and then the doping thing. And then, you know, all these kids are wearing the Live Strong. Um, yeah, I burnt mine. Cut it in half. Really? 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 Yeah, you were that mad about steroid use? No, I probably just threw it out or something. I Did you uh, remember when? No, actually, that's kind of sad. Never mind. Dude, anyway, honestly, they're still selling power balance bands. They got hit with a $57 million lawsuit. Yep. Jeez. Hard to come back from. That's a Ooh. tough one. Do they Ooh. make mouth guards? Balance guards. So, Benny, they test for steroids and enduro cross? So, it's an AMA sanction, and they... Can but they don't. How they much might, of a they benefit? might start if you show up like this though? How much of Dude, a benefit I, would there be to be that bald? <laughs> no, you don't even want to be that bald. That's what I'm I saying. Think. Like it's not like, even like a dude. When benefit. you go to the gym, like for moto or whatever, for enduro, whatever I do, training, pizza ranch, whatever you want to ride. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> yeah. I don't ever like. I'm not at the gym trying to get big to look sick. Like I don't care about looking sick. I'm like in there rehabbing a shoulder, rehabbing an ankle. Like I've never gone to the gym and like hit curls and be like, dude, my pipes are going to look sick. Like, I've never gone to the gym for looks, ever. You're I've f- never worked out for looks, you're ever fun- in my life. You're function I'm just, out. I'm function working out. Like, I'll go and I'll run on the treadmill or do the hit the rower, and then I'll do lower back because when you're riding enduro, you're standing so much, and I want my lower back and my core to be strong because it's going to make me better on the bike. Is that really why you want a strong lower back? <laughs> 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 well, maybe other reasons, too, <laughs> in case of a crash. I want to make sure that I can keep my back tight. Exactly. Hit it, yeah. like, the, hit it like a cat. Hit it like a cat. <laughs> I go to the gym a lot, and I don't think I've ever gone in there and, like, tried to make my body look different. Like, I'm not, like, I know that that's, like, a lot of people go to the gym to stay fit, but I'm going there to, like, be, like, all right, if my shoulder's hurting, I'm going to go and I'm going to do, like, a bunch of rehab stuff with bands and stuff. And even my tr- the the dudes at my gym have came up to me and they're like some of the bo- they're like body lifter power lifter dudes they'll come up to me and they're like hey like what are you doing and I'm like oh they're like are you an athlete or s-? like even the workers like one of the dudes is a trainer he came up and he's like well, he's like he's like are you an athlete or something and I was like yeah and he's like oh I could kind of tell because you were just like rehabbing like he could see from what I was doing that I was like doing it for a purpose I'm not mm-hmm. just like mm-hmm. trying to like get big muscles you not know? muscles f- that are not functional yeah. Mm-hmm. I have muscles that are not functional. Dude, dude, <laughs> dude the funniest thing about Where that, too. <laughs> Let me see. I mean, dude. it's like, I maybe look stronger than I am. I don't CJ feel like I'm that strong. looks like you, like, put your thumb in your mouth every morning. <laughs> <laughs> you put a yourself up. <laughs> You're like, like the boy, right, we're ready the guy the on like the the bubble gum, the bubble gum guy. <laughs> dude, I'll tell you who is functionally strong. Our filmer, Dalton. oh dude, bro! Every chance this kid gets, he's he just wants to show just, off his muscles. He's, he's young, dude. A That's young what it is. lad, eighteen year old, and just hungry to prove how strong he is. Every yep. chance he gets, this dude picked up the trials bike like put, this, dude. Put it on his shoulders yesterday. Dude, granted, it started just walking. We're like, bro, you know you can push, push that it. Thing, that right? yeah, he's strong, got strong, dude. Wheels. He, he is, dude. He put 
his safe on his back. <laughs> like a gun safe. Like, like a, a heavy, huge, a heavy huge full ass size gun safe. safe. Here's a picture of it. <laughs> and he carried it up the stairs into his office. All right. On his back. I have something I need to come clean about. Oh, he didn't do that? No, he had some help. His, his I jacket. just told you all that because it was way funnier. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude, this whole time I thought that he did it. I, and I believed it. No, but dude, I believe he's he 600 does. pounds. Every chance he gets, he's picking who, shit who up. Who helped though. him? You? Uh, his, 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 his dad, girlfriend's dude. dad. No, oh, dude, he's funny about that, actually. Hilarious. I think the other day I was like, hey, Ev, could you like... Get my child's bike out of the truck or something. And he's yeah, like, oh, you, ramp. he like, hurt, he's like, he's like, you grab my ramp and take my child's bike out. And he heard it from across the shop. And he's like, oh, you want me to come lift it? Rips his shirt uh, off yeah, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you can't lift with his shirt on. He's like, dude, a, he always he's like a young <laughs> CJ. How I yeah. remember CJ back in the day. The, the get the dude didn't wear a shirt for an entire summer. That's because we didn't have AC in the shop. We still don't have AC in the shop. What we the have fuck AC fuck right there. It's mean? it's way better than before, dude. You'd be sweating just sitting on your computer. Anywho. <laughs> Hey, Different times. I, I, I will admit, after watching Dalton pick the trials bike up three times in one day, yesterday when I sunk it, I'm like, all right, I'm going to pick this up. I was in the swamp with bad footing. There was no chance I could get that bike up on my shoulder. Dude, and I tried dude, pretty hard. It's functional strength. It's almost like a like a, like a a dad strength or like a like construction like a, no, worker young, strength. Young boy does not have dad strength. I don't know what it is, but he's he, got that he has not unlocked old strength. man strength. I think he just got strength. like really try hard strength. Dude, you no, know, I think yeah, he's young and he wants to prove he's just that he can. For it. And he also has never woken up with a sore back, so he isn't scared. <laughs> he did of did this morning, anything. and that does scare me. That he's yeah, gonna like, hurt himself. I'm like, dude, you don't gotta pick up the fucking bike, just push it. He's, <laughs> he's like, let me carry this. He's across going the to the gym lot. after anyways. He'll, he'll, I know, but still, dude, it's just it's just throw your back out good once, and you're screwed for the rest of your life. I'm I mean, dealing CJ, with you it. You were just standing there when you threw your back out yesterday. Yeah, well, I don't know, <laughs> dude. I was leaning over the bike and I stood up and I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" What I mean, Something's you know, up. And like, I like, yeah. I was like walking like, like this, oh, and like oh. Evan's like, "Yep, you just threw your back out." And I'm like, "I'm like, I didn't even do anything." He's like, yeah, he's watching. Yeah, that's Dalton how it happens. Carry it. Dude, Next were, time you're at the gym, trade out the curls for some. Uh, crunches. I do back. I do back, and I do crunches. Get that like, lower back got I, I maybe was just trying to crack a joke. I'm actually fairly strong. But <laughs> I, I'm just gonna say it. I'm actually fairly He's strong. To clear it but up. you try to clear it up. So you didn't actually throw your back up? No, I did. Something happened well, there. You that were was laughing. weird. It wasn't bad though. It wasn't yeah. bad like you. Like mine was. Like it was literally for like four minutes. I just like kind of and then just kind of like. But you were laughing because you're like, I can't believe that. Like I did nothing. And, yeah. And it, and it hurts pretty pretty bad. And I didn't I just like do bent anything over. It was weird. I was laying on my couch watching our videos, and my TV is like above my fireplace, <laughs> so it's like. Athlete. I kind of like lay back <laughs> on the couch and like head rest kind of on like the corner of it. And I'm like looking up this way and something happened in our videos where I, I sit up to laugh. Oh my God. And dude. as I sit up to laugh, I immediately feel something in my neck. Right. And I'm like, Oh, Oh. And then I like stand up and I'm like trying to like kind of just <laughs> shake it out. And I'm like, Oh my God. I think I just threw my neck out watching TV, dude, watching our videos. And I'm like, it's always something with our fucking videos. I'm, <laughs> oh watching, my this, God. I'm watching this shit on the TV. And I do for the next three days, I like couldn't move my neck from it. I was like, damn, I'm getting old, dude. Well, it's the repercussions of front flipping a mini truck. Allegedly, or basically falling 15 feet. Yeah, you're like yeah. me, dude. I'm not even, I didn't even hurt my shoulders. I'm just sitting here and my shoulders hurt. I think I got a date at that Zorba sign anyways. Who you bringing? <laughs> I'm tapping out tonight. <laughs> Give him a couple more highlights and he'll probably meet you over there. Yeah, Johnny. okay, buddy. Two he'll more highlights. There you'll, be, you'll be inviting me up just like you were last night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fuck yeah, Spenny. Spenny, come on up. Come on up. <laughs> can you you want to plug your, your socials, Spenny? Just so they can... Follow you on Instagram, YouTube, all that. Yeah, so my YouTube, I mean, they're just dirt bike shenanigans. Sometimes you do other stuff, but mostly just like race vlogs and random other stuff. But it's my name, Spencer Wilton, with two S's. And then my Instagram is Spencer Wilton 17. There yeah. we go. Go follow them, guys. Thanks for uh, hopping on the pod. Thanks for riding it. on top of Pizza Hut. Hut today and Pizza, uh, Ranch. Pizza, Pizza Ranch. Hut next Sorry. time. Pizza Hut, Pizza next, Hut next, time. next time. Yeah, and uh, if you guys haven't already, hit the subscribe button. We make a podcast every week. We'll see you next Tuesday. Peace.